looking at the new leader 9.0 version 2 so this customer originally had the version 1 with our 7000 BTU 12 volt system on this boat we did something a little bit different so it had the factory air conditioning you can tell by the through hole on the side there pushing down and so we ended up removing the factory air it was a 12,000 BTU the medic unit and we put in our 9,000 BTU, a little bit different VI system. So it's a 115, 230 volt system, still running off lithium batteries. Um, this one is an inverter based. Inverter based system. So we're gonna get down over here in the aft compartment, take a look at some of the components that we're using. So, in the back corner over there, we have two 300 amp hour lithium batteries. So these are um, Epic batteries, Epoch. Over here we have the inverter. So this is the inverter that's running the system. It's also running the outlets and the cooktop. Over here we have our DC-DC charger. So this is how we're taking from the uh, from the engine alternators and recharging the, the lithiums when the engines are running. Fuses for the DC-DC chargers, everything we try to keep it as clean as organized and organized as possible. Over here we have the Victron shunt, so that way we can look at the display, see what the available runtime is. This boat right now is not connected to shore power, so we're running directly off the battery bank. So then over here we have the intake system. So it's somewhat tight quarters. This is the, the intake. So this was already installed from the factory. We added this hose, we changed the strainer. And we have our pump and strainer over here. So it's our 250 gallon per hour. You saw the discharge coming out of the side over there. Then, Right over here, see our bleeding valve. So that's if we have any airlocks in the system, open up this valve and uh, it'll remove the airlock that could possibly be in the outlet of the pump and that way it, it makes for an easier um, airlock removal. The unit is currently running at full speed. You'll see that there is no shore power connected and we also changed this vessel. This shore power is no longer used. It's only a single 30, or I guess in this case, a single 32, but only a single cable is connected to this boat and everything runs so that you don't have to deal with two cables. If we come to the helm here, Showing 10 hours of runtime. This is going down to 15% um, depth of discharge. So using 85% of the battery. Consumption with the unit running at full speed, 44.3 amps. So this is the consumption that we're getting through the batteries right now. Temperature on the boat, 62. I'm set for 60. Fan speed to auto. If we look at the master bolt panel. So the unit is drawing right now 4.5 amps. So actually it doesn't seem like it is at full speed. We're going to crank this up a little bit more. I'm gonna put a big differential. I'm gonna go down to 50. So it's really a big difference in there. Compressor will speed up a little bit more, so we'll go back and look at that amperage reading. If we look at the watts, so I'm drawing 600 watts. This is once again, so the this is the the factory installation of the of the ducting. So they have a vent in this aft cabin. We have the unit behind that panel right over there. We have a vent over here in the front area. And then there's also a vent over here at the helm. So 
So amperage has gone up. We're now at 47. Once again, engine's off. No shore power. So this is what the units drank from the batteries. Go back to our time remaining. Still showing 10. So over 10 hours of runtime, and that's still leaving 15% of 15% capacity in the batteries to not overly discharge the lithiums. And the interesting, the, or the, the big difference on the VI system, and part of the reason we wanted to do this is, um, the unit, the, this boat already had an air conditioning inside of it. So it was much simpler to replace the AC with another 115 volt system, not having to run new cables, not having to change everything. And the customer also has a lot of adjustment. Every fan speed, so fan speed one is now our Eco one. Fan speed two is Eco two, fan speed three is Eco three, so on and so forth. So even though I'm asking for 50 degrees and it's still 60 degrees in the boat, 62 degrees in the boat, just setting the fan speed to one is gonna lock the compressor at a certain speed. So you'll see here, I'm sure you heard the noise of the compressor slowing down and you see that my output from the inverter, I'm now down to 300 watts. My consumption is down to 24 amps from 47 amps. So in the event someone they're constant, the, the door is constantly opening and closing, you're just trying to maintain a certain level of lower humidity in the cabin, um, have the air blowing on you, but you're not necessarily trying to reach a set temperature. You can greatly prolong your run time. So we were talking about 10 hours. So now in low speed at about half, we should be seeing closer to 20 hours, but it takes the Victron some time to register all this, but you'll see that we're already up to 15 hours of runtime and the AC is still running, is still cooling. So this is a very viable option. And once again, we're taking advantage of the engine alternators. The variable capacity, the inverter type units are very important to make this happen. And this is what we call that hybrid system on the uh, on the vi instead of going true dc and that allows now this customer has the outlets that work when disconnected from shore power once again it has the cooktop that works when disconnected from shore power so as an example we'll come back over here you see our canyon grill we're gonna power it on. So, it's on. I can go back to the Victron display. You'll see that I'm now pulling 131 amps. So the grill is running. And this is without the thought of having to start a generator, without having to start the engines, it's it's gonna run. You can run it for 30 minutes, an hour, turn it back off, um, and still have plenty of runtime with the air conditioner. The unit, once again, is our SC09VI. So you can see that unit. back in this corner over here and so the interesting thing here is we are talking about a dual voltage the units fed 115 volts or 230 volts um, no specific unit it's it's one unit that handles everything you just feed it the input power and it does what it needs to with that power And this comes as well with our color touch display. And outside of the, we'll go to, we'll go to Eco 2 and see the difference, or let's go to Eco 3. Compressor's on, pump is on, the return temperature, so we're reading 63 at the sensor, the evaporator's at 48 degrees. Once again, we were in Eco 1, so the unit's gonna run a bit slower, the compressor's gonna run slower. Um, condenser's at 80 degrees. So once again, we wanna keep an eye on this, make sure that we're not going once we start seeing 105, 107, 110, 
uh, that's going to signify that there's either uh, dirty lines, dirty strainer, some sort of obstruction, the pump's not working properly, and something needs to be checked out in there. So I still have the cooktop running actually, so I'm going to turn off the cooktop because right now I'm pulling 1600 watts. See now, I'm pulling 36.6. I still have that widespread, but I'm locking the compressor in. Standard use, it will automatically speed up and slow down um, if I just leave it in auto with a set temperature that I'm looking to achieve. So that feature still works, but if you do need to lock the compressor, um, for example, you want it on the cooktop and something else on the outlets, you can slow down the unit without having to completely turn it off. So the unit's drawing 456 watts. That's in Eco 3. So once again, set for 50 degrees. It's 62 in here, 61 degrees. So then if I go back to my auto speed and I bring my set temperature up where I wanna be. So I'm gonna say I want 61 degrees in the boat. So it's already 61 in here. I'm looking to achieve 61. It takes a little bit of time for the compressor to realize exactly what's happening or for the logic to start controlling everything. But you see we're already down to 360 watts. And here I'm set to auto, but my set temperature is at our return temperature. So then the unit here is just gonna be maintaining. And I do want to be clear that this number that we're looking at is also counting the circulation pump that's running. So this is the unit and the circulation pump. So we can see here, I'm already below 300, 300 watts. So then we'll go once again to get the true reading from the, from the Victron display that's connected directly through the batteries. I'm currently pulling 18 amps, which is compressor running, fan running, and the pump running. And you can see the Victron just steadily climbing. So this is looking at the AC running on this liter 9.0 walk around series two. Thank you for watching.